Back home. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. There you go. Yeah. Look at stop, 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 stop. Look at this bass in front of me. There's an alligator. What's going on everybody? Girl Outdoors. Just got off work and I'm excited to go check out a new pond today. But also, I'm very excited to be throwing a new lure. Given to me by Chris Ellis, Mr. Tightlines himself. We got the black crappy walking bait and it's tied on right now to my bull bay, the Banshee, along with the Daiwa BGMQ 3000. So I'm ready to throw this thing. We're gonna get into a pond and hopefully we'll get on some nighttime bass. That's when I plan on throwing it a little bit closer to dark. We're waiting on Blake to pull up right now. Actually, I'm waiting on him to call me. He's taking forever like he normally does. So, Mr. Hooked Up with Blake. There he is right there. Hello. Bye, bye, bye. Right here, Blake proceeds to tell me a whole bunch of excuses of why he's not there yet, why he can't fish every single day, and how I just shouldn't expect him to be there when I call about fishing. And I don't understand any of it. But anyway, we keep on moving, and here he comes. String up my pole. Okay. Alright then, alright then, later. Alright now. Alright then, alright then. This woman in the rear view here is picking the crap out of her nose right now. Boy, she is all up in them boogers. <laughs> While I'm here waiting on Blake, I'm doing some work to the Daiwa Fuego bait caster over here. I really need to reline it, but it's still got a decent bit of life on here. So, I had a slight bird nest sitting here in the car. Took the reel off the pole next to me. Decided to go ahead and get this taken care of. We're going to throw a rubber worm on here. We're also going to carry around that Chris Ellis walking bait. Boom. Daiwa Fuego. Back and good to go. Look at that thing. Black crappy color. Beautiful. Let's go catch us a bass before Blake gets here. Just made our first cast with this magnum finesse. Got that one eighth ounce belly weighted BMC. It's a drop dead hook. They are my favorite hooks for sure. That's a lot of devastation when that hook is set. Oh, what is that? That's a big old carp, I believe. There's a, that wasn't a bass, it's a carp. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's definitely a carp. That wake is huge. Some, I've seen the carpet here. Tried to set the hook on one, he almost broke my wrist. It felt like I'm trying to wait on Blake before I go walking around this thing. Oh, look at this carp! And there's a bass right in front of me. There's a carp and a bass right here. Let's see if we can get that bass. I don't know where he went. Come back. Come back, bass. He did. Fish on. Got him. Got him. Told you that bass was there. Look at it. No! He, he shook me. <laughs> I almost caught him right there. I didn't set the hook very hard. I didn't want to break the line. Let's see if he picks it up again. I was about to run in there after him. Ooh, that is nasty. That's for sure gonna bring one out today. This thing sails.
Blake walked up, said he just saw something hit the bank over there. I just had that spook over there too. So I was chilling. There was, um, I come over this way, I saw a carp, and then right in front of the carp was a bass. And I was like, let me try to catch it up throughout there and gave it a second to come picked it up. I followed him for a moment, and then uh, I didn't set the hook on him hard at all. It was a nice uh, three pounder, and he popped off right in front of me. It was weird, he, he like flipped over on his back and floated. And I almost was able to get down and grab him, and then he took off. Well, that's weird, like that trout. Yeah, um, that address you sent me, if you pull out of this neighborhood and go left, it brought me to the side of the road. Right there. Hey, step off the bank. Yeah, not too high, though. Hmm? I got a four and a half right here. What do you got on there? Magnum finesse. Called the four and a half on the glide right here. Dude, I, I shut my thumb in the door of the truck today and it has been killing me ever yeah. since, bro. It is purple. Look in there. Yeah. Bad. Man, this, I, I did it slow, but the door shut fast. Yeah. And hard. Oh, oh, dang it. I just got robbed. Yeah, I wouldn't even pay it. There he is, he's back home. Got him. Got him running. Get on there here. <laughs> Came and robbed me at the bank for a moment. Came back and got it. I don't know that that was the same fish or not, but I did get hit twice. What are you using for bait? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Where are your parents? Billy Hook. A little fatty. Appreciate that fight, buddy. <sighs> little guy was taking off. He was beaming. Phew. Pretty fat for a little guy. Pucker up, buttercup. I am pucker, man. I'm, I'm gopher holing, I'm turtle heading, whatever you want to call it. It's not good. You had to poop in the last video. I'm prairie dogging, man. I'm prairie dogging, dude. <laughs> He had to poop in the last video. <laughs> you gotta suck it back up. <laughs> right under your line, dude. Uh huh. Hey, dude. Oh, a carp, dude. Oh, fish on, watch this. Watch this, he's swimming. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, he's just. Nope, he's on there. Dang it, I can't catch him. Got him. There you go. Ooh, that's a good him. fish. That's a good fish right there, baby. Yeah, come on. Come on. Woo. Got him. Got him. There we go. Calm down. Calm down. Ah. <laughs> nice fish. There we go. Another nice bass today. Wouldn't you like to know? Good fish. Nice bass. Good outdoors, baby. Appreciate it, bro. Whew. Awesome, right off of that corner, man. I knew I wanted it for a reason. That bass was just swimming so fast. I'm like, where is he, where is he? I thought he spit it once. He, he may know. have. I saw, I saw your line just going. <laughs> I was like, you're <laughs> My thumb hurts so bad, like even just sitting in my hand, it's hard to get the proper hook set. Yeah. I'll show you how to close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it hurts so, so bad. So where you are, and a little bit to the, more to the left, there's like two beds right there. I was on the phone with the dude Chris for an hour and a half. Oh, don't move. Look at that bass sitting right in front of us. Back up, Blake, he's in this bed. I know, I know, I'm trying to. Come on, take it, take it. This bass is very finicky. I tried it last time. Long story short, I don't catch the bass. I do throw at it though about 47 times and just never get them. This looks disgusting. Yeah. Look at, stop, 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 stop. Look at this bass in front of me. Right here on this bed, Blake. You don't be watching it. No oh. beds, man. Yeah, because I'm done. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Two bass in it. The female. Is that a third? Like 
Get his bass right there, not bad. He looked at it and turned away. Pick it up, pick it up. He's losing it. Yeah. There's three of them. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, she's looking at it. Oh, got it. oh she's going for it. Did she get it? Did she get it? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. I'm saying. Get it. Yeah. Oh, uh, told you, Blake. Look at that weight. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Good, good fish. fish. Good fish. I 100% put you on that fish. <laughs> you stole my fish. That's five. I'll give that five. Blake come in and stole my fish. There's two uh -huh. more. There was two other. There's two more on the bed. The you didn't even see the fish. I said stop. <laughs> You're going to walk right past it. I'll put you on that. Look at that. Good, good, good five pounder, though. Finally got hooked up. Good five pound bass. Got him on a swim fluke. This is done for now. One fish a day for me. <laughs> Let's get him back. Oh, look, look, look. Look what somebody's been throwing. Hey, I'll put it on there. Put it on. Let's see if I can put Blake on another fish today. Blake got one. Get him, Blake. Yeah, those bed fish are fat, dude. Those bed fish are fat. Another good fish. I thought it was gonna be one fish a day for me. <laughs> and then Dre found me this on the ground. Threw it on. <laughs> and he went after it. So let me see if I can put you on another fish, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. I swam in a couple things. Missed a few others, unfortunately. Outro time. We appreciate y'all checking in today. <laughs> Blake, Blake, Blake doesn't know how to do an outro. You're talking, and then you in the background giving your outro. He don't know how to do an outro while I'm doing an outro. <laughs> I just don't want your outro to be in mine. <laughs> hey, we appreciate y'all checking in today. Thank y'all very much. As always, Grill Outdoors. Hooked up with Blake. So check it out, y'all. I'm on the way home. You know, it's the gorilla in me, and I can't give up. I have to catch something on this Chris Ellis. <laughs> I just have this hankering and I've just got the lure, so I'm, I'm super excited, I'm so thankful for it, it's so beautiful. I have to get out here and catch something. I'm passing the pond, here it is right now. <sighs> Let me shut up. So I will say one major, major problem with this pond, aside from alligators, is all the grass. You can see it, I believe you can see it, I can see it, at least, and oh, yeah. it is, everywhere so throwing this top water is going to be difficult <sighs> but i'm going to try it <sighs> yeah there's <laughs> grass going way out there i see a little bass on his side over here Showing its side. Oh, oh, there's a shadow of a better fish. Better fish. Oh, freaking hold on. Ah, oh, dang it. He got my hook. That's not what I wanted to happen. Now I gotta fight a gator. <sighs> Dang it. He got the hook. swimming out yeah so obviously there's nothing I can do here just waiting for him to break the line I gotta watch out because there might be another one 
I know there's another one. Dang it, he's running now. He's running good. Oh, man. God, he is not stopping. I did not mean to even get him. I was just trying to bring him out of the water, see if he would get a little closer to me, but he snapped it so fast. Oh, he got me down there. Just want my hook back. There we go. Let's see what happened. He got my hook. <laughs> Golly. After this, I walked around the pond, the entire pond, and I threw the Chris Ellis about a million times. Tonight just wasn't the night. There's so much hydrilla, a couple gators out in the water. It's coming, man, I promise. Sorry it didn't happen this time. All right, y'all, so this is the real outro. First, caught a couple nice fish, and secondly, came to another pond, not expecting to do so, but just trying to catch on this walking bait. And well, I didn't get that achieved today. I'm a little upset about it, but it's okay. It's not the bait, it's the pond. There's so much grass out here, all the hydrilla. I got bum rushed by a gator. <laughs> Crazy. But anyway, the next video probably is gonna be whatever it takes to get a catch on the MTL. We're gonna get a catch on it soon. Thank you again to Chris of MTL Baits for sending me that lure promise you the catch is coming. I was gonna end the video here, but then I decided I'll put a couple more catches in. This was the next day, and as I was walking up, this random guy asked me if I was gonna fish here. I have a question. I gotta check this area because I have seen five and six pound bass in this little bit of water. Crazy enough. But anyway, let's scoot on to the back. Fish on. I pulled it out of his mouth. I pulled it out of his mouth. Oh, god dang it. All right, come on there. Got him, got him. That's a good one too, and it's got me wrapped up so good. Come on, come on, got him. Oh my goodness, get out of that. Get out of that salad, yes. Come on baby, yes. Get out of there, yes. <laughs> Boom. Awesome. Yes. Boom. Y'all saw that fight, top water. Whoo, freaking awesome. Nice. Appreciate that fight, buddy. Look at this place. Thank you, buddy. Nice.